What's up, YouTube? Chevy Brother checking back in with you guys. Um, yeah, I got uh, my Slash 4x4 here. Um, I got it broke down because I think I have a little problem in my drivetrain here. Um, I kind of ghetto wired this battery up to program the e ESC and, uh, you know, to get the radio hooked up and everything to see, you know, how everything will run. Um, looks like I got a problem here. Um, I'm hearing some kind of rubbing coming from the front end here. Um, I don't know if it's the diffs or anything. It's kind of like a clicking or a grinding sound. Um, I checked out my diffs. My diffs are cool. You know, when I take the drive shaft out and free spin it, uh, I don't hear anything rubbing. But once I put the drive shaft back in it, you know, I hear a lot of grinding or something in there and it echoes through the whole car. So uh, what I'm doing is reaching out to the YouTube community out here. Uh, anybody who installed one of these Techno Big Bones, you know, what do you do? I know I've seen some videos on YouTube saying that there's like a little lip under here that you have to grind or something like that. But uh, when I shined a flashlight on the inside here, I didn't really see the dry shaft cup rubbing or anything. So I'm not sure um, to what it could be hitting or anything. I, at first, I thought I had my cups, which are these, installed wrong. But, uh, you know, I went online and looked and stuff. And obviously, I have them installed right. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, yeah, I know this battery looks kind of ghetto, how it's wired and everything. I don't have any connectors on it or anything, but, you know, I just wanted to test fire the car and make sure everything ran, you know. Uh, that's why the motor's out of it and everything else, because I'm trying to diagnose where this grinding noise is coming from. Uh, yeah, I went ahead and pulled the motor last night. Uh, this is the Traxxas Funny Car motor here. You know, it's a little beat up because it was in my Rustler, you know. It was dragging on the ground, hit a couple curbs and whatnot. But this motor runs pretty good. I also found out last night, uh, I did a dry run on here. It sounds like one of my bearings, this bearing here, is making a little noise. I don't know if it's dirt or what, but uh, I don't think this motor is going to cut it for this project. So, uh, probably have to do some looking around and see if I can find another motor to put into this car here. Um, I don't know if it's the bearing, if it's some dirt or what. I'm kind of iffy on taking this motor apart. Um, I might just keep this motor and stuff it back in my Rustler and just have a basher for now until this motor gives out or something. But yeah, this motor, as you can see, it's got some war wounds. You know, a little dent in the can right there. You know, some scratches and whatnot. But, you know, for 50 bucks, $55, I'm sorry, this has been a pretty good motor. You know, I've had this motor for about a year and a half. Uh, this motor propelled my Rustler to 65 miles an hour at the Run DMV. Uh, so I don't know. It might be time to retire the old girl. But uh, I had to do some repair on the wiring here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I had to put some more uh, of the sleeve on here because this was actually bare wire exposed here. Just from the wire wearing out and stuff and dragging on the ground. I had to fix that. But... I don't know, maybe the old girl's tired. I've only ran the most through this motor 4S, and that was, you know, maybe 10 runs or so. But, uh, sounds like I got a bearing issue in the motor here. Um, also, too, I know you guys are looking at this motor here. Uh, this is my Dynamite Taser 3300. I don't know if you guys can see the number on that here. Yeah, this is the 3300 that I had in, uh, Project Freight Train, and this is the first brushless motor I ever got. I still have this motor, um... This one doesn't have hardly any runs on it. Uh, I think this is a two-pole motor, and the most you can run through this is 3S. So this one, I ran it a little bit on NIM power on this battery right here that's old and beat up. Uh, on 48-pitch gears, I had it geared uh, 7635, and this thing did 40 miles an hour on just a NIM battery. So this is not a bad motor, but I just wouldn't run it on LiPo power because even when I was free running it on 3S in my hand, this motor got kind of hot. So, I wouldn't use it for that. Uh, another thing, too, I uh, pulled my, gear, my gears out, well, my pinion gear, and I'm not ashamed to say, see with the teeth are, 38, 36, that's what I had in here. Um, I don't know, you know, I might still run, I'm sorry, I might still run this setup in the car. I might change the gearing, don't know. But yeah, guys, I just don't know what's going on. If you guys have ever experienced that uh, rubbing and grinding sound in the front end of your slash, shoot me a message. Let me know. That's all for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep RC and keep wrenching. Peace. What's up, YouTube? Chevy Brother here. Um, I actually got the car down off the, the table there. The, well, the makeshift table I got. 
uh, I want you guys to hear the grinding or the clicking that I hear in my front end uh, when you free spin the car. Um, I got it on the floor here. See so you hear it. And that's the noise that you hear in the car when I had the motor hooked up, the gears and everything, when I fired the car up. That noise actually magnifies and it gets louder through the car. Uh, sounds like the noise is coming from the front end here. Um, I hope to goodness that I don't have a bum diff in here. Uh, I did take the diffs apart when I first built the car. Uh, I inspected them. The teeth were cool. The pinion, the ring and all that. Everything was cool. Uh, so I greased it and put it back together and put it in the car here. But yeah, you hear that? And it sounds like it's coming from the front of the car here. So I'm not exactly sure on, you know, where is it coming from or what's causing it. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, the output cup on the dry shaft that goes to the, to the differential. I, I'm really hoping it's that, but what it's rubbing on, I'm not sure. Because when I did some investigation and looked, I don't see where it's rubbing or anything. Or if it's hitting the top of the frame here. Uh, you know, I didn't see any scuff marks or anything on it to see where it was rubbing from. But yeah, I'll let you guys hear it one more time. So I don't know what that could be. You know, if you guys ever had this issue, let me know. Just drop me a line, you know, send me a message. Or you can email me. My email is Chevy Brother. that's C-H-E-V-Y-B-R-O-T-H-A at gmail.com. And that's all for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep RC and keep wrenching. Peace.